trees and time cannot be replaced. You can build a bigger house, you can add an add-on to a garage per se, but, but you can't replace that 100-year-old tree. People really relate to their trees. They understand the importance of them. And that, that's what feeds me is the, the passion that clients have for the trees. So that really drives me to do whatever I can, the best I can, to make sure that those trees are safe and also um, can live for generations. Okay, well I'd like to start off with doing a soil sample so we can find out exactly what type of soil we're working with. We have this research facility um, that we can send information to. So um, something that I thought was going on with the plant in particular, I sent it off to our lab and it, it's extremely comprehensive how they do their analysis. The science is the, the basis for what we do every day uh, and if we don't have science we can't really make a good proper diagnosis, just like your doctor. But it may be a tree that you'd want to consider taking out in the in the longer run. The company's been going since 1907. We've got over 2,000 employees and offices in Canada, throughout the United States, in the UK and in Ireland. So we try to deliver the highest level of customer service that we can from the point where the client rings the office uh, all the way through to us phoning them when the job's been completed to ensure that they're absolutely happy with the service that we've given to them. People get comfort out of the fact that we've been doing the job for so long. The reason why we prune um, trees is basically to keep the trees healthy. It could be as simple as removing dead hazardous branches because they might fall and break something or hurt somebody. But we can also help the trees uh, to have better structures and be healthier because trees in the city and the urban forest grow a little different than the trees in the forest. So we have to kind of guide them a little bit. Every day that I go to work, I find something new that I love about what I do. As a plant health care specialist, I visit multiple properties in a day. And when I get to a property, I look at all the different species on the property. I diagnose uh, insect, cultural problems, and disease problems on site, and I treat accordingly. I also take soil samples and plant samples, and if there's an unfamiliar pest or disease that needs to be treated, we'll have them sent down to the diagnostic lab in Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're constantly learning about new pests and diseases and ways to help trees grow better. I love doing plant health care because you get to see the impact that you're making on a tree's health. I love it when I'm able to take a tree that's overgrown and be able to walk away from it and have you know, some space between branching and have it lifted up off of a house. It feels good when you check in with a client at the end of the day and you're leaving their property and they have a smile on their face. We're all about customer service. We're all about personal interaction. We're all about making sure that the client uh, comes first and they understand that. You know, they're not just a, a number, not just a street address. They're somebody who has trees that they care about. Every tree needs a champion. 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 Every tree needs a champion.